Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're going to do an episode today over voiceovering um, some play content of me playing, uh, because last episode I talked a little bit about how to avoid private um, uh, NPC battles with pirates, in that kind of sense, only non-player characters, but um, that was great using tributes, but there is a, several methods I could talk about for PvP pirates, player pirates. So um, I figured I'd use this episode in here to chance to talk about some of those things, so let's get right into it. So there isn't any particular order to any of these, um, but there are going to be some that are more obvious than others. Um, some that are things I'm going to teach you brand new. So I'm going to try to keep the more obvious things together in one uh, section of the list. But in general, this is really in no particular order. So number one thing I would might recommend that you do when you are at risk of being pirated, just stay home. That's the first thing. Now, obviously that don't mean doesn't mean to play the not play the game but that does mean to consider where the pirates are and consider if it's worth your risk driving or driving and sailing through the regions in which that they are pirating um there are two places that they can pirate uh main places hostile waters and lawless waters hostile waters you can do something to try to avoid it. There's items you can use, and there are ways to prevent the battle. In Lawless Waters, there really isn't, except for one potential option, and it doesn't, uh, we're gonna get into that, but it's not one of the best options out there. Actually, it is the best option, but it's not necessarily the most uh, accessible option. So, um, so first thing to do would be to avoid it. Either sail around the waters, in which that are hostile or lawless, which could add days, and that means time to your trip, or that means to just port and wait. Um, that's completely up to you, but that is one particular and one of the first ways to avoid PvP battles. Number two is being friendly in chat. Now, if you're in chat and you're telling people you're going sailing, well, they're gonna know you're going sailing and they're gonna look for you on those routes if you're going to, say, spice runs or you're gonna do an anvent run. So they're gonna be looking for you. So if that's the case, then you can be uh, friendly with them in chat and say hey listen guys this is my first run please don't pirate me you know maybe that's something they could do you could be open in the, in the public chats or when they do pirate you you can be nice and then they might be able to give you back most of your things um they're not necessarily doing this to steal your stuff um yes they want it to steal your money so don't go with too much money on you but um at the same time they also really just want it for the notoriety so if you're just telling them please just don't do it to me or if you're going to do it to me can i just have my stuff back they're usually going to be pretty reasonable most pvp players out there in other games i played like world of warcraft man they just keep on ganking you and keep on ganking you and knocking you down but in this game there's only really really one time that makes it worth their while um after that it doesn't serve them much purpose any further so there's no incentive so being nice is one of the ways to get around it so definitely chatting with them uh, is a good way um and then so that that's through uh talking with them the next method would be to go on to private mode now setting your status to private um on the uh, community set status page uh, and then choosing private and only allowing friends or private blocking all um will white if you are normal and not a uh pirate yourself um, pirates won't be able to see you within the region when they do the searches. So that makes it harder for them to identify and know if you're in the region. Um, if they're watching the region and suddenly your name pops up, then they know you entered the region from one direction or the other. We don't know, but they know you entered, so they know they're going to be looking. Um, so that's one way you can do it. Uh, however, uh, if you are fleeted with a group, um, the group will be seen. So make sure the entire group is privated, or if you're going to be, um, in a group, uh, make it so that all of them are private minus the exception of one or whatever the case may be um so that way they don't think that there, there's multiple targets and that there's only one so um so it's not necessarily the best decision to be in but it is one way to avoid it um or at least being spotted it's a helpful tip it doesn't actually avoid the bottle uh, the battles in general um I kind of mentioned this earlier, uh, you know, just avoiding the problem altogether by not sailing, but open sea sailing, you know, go into the open seas, go to the seas around the waters, don't stay, stay close to the region that is lawless and go around it. If you know how the map breaks down, if you use GBO Navish, this is a lot easier to do because then you'll know that, say, the Canary Islands is always hostile, so you can sail around the Canary Islands. Totally up to you. So it's a region like that you could avoid then you could do the open sea sailing. 
Um, I don't necessarily trying to run away from battles. They're going to kill you faster than you can run away. So um, it's not one of those things that um, you necessarily want uh, to have uh, certain um, items to try to stop the battles because they're just going to be relentless and keep killing you. So um, it's not very highly suggested to do this option, but bringing bells with you or whatever the case may be to avoid the melee damage or whatever it else it can be, or first aid and surgery, sword play, all that stuff. You could try to battle them yourself, but if you're not somebody who's taking that route, you know, damage mitigation is just not the route to go. You just want to avoid the battle altogether. So I don't suggest necessarily trying to outlive the battle. Um, that's not going to work in your favor, most likely. Um, uh, same thing with t doing the battles, you know, yourselves, you can find ways to get out of the battles or avoid things by getting away from them as quickly as possible. But like, that's just not your, your main thing. Um, one of the other things that we could talk about next is, um, traveling at weird times. If you're a day sailor on the Eastern United States, then, and there's an event going on for a particular um, items then you know you're going to be more of a target because you're going during the main times try going times where you know those pirates aren't pirating i mean that's if you're doing this regularly you know how to avoid them when it comes to being when they're doing it but right now there's san francisco fran band going on so there's going to be some people waiting probably within the regions that are hostile between boston and seville or even people waiting at the big bottom of the cape horn of uh, the Southern Americas or Panama even. So it's one of those things that you might want to try to avoid altogether um, in the sense of, uh, you know, trying to know what kind of events are happening and then of changing how you're going to uh, attack the trade or attack whatever it is that you're trying to do. Um, and that might just change when you do it versus when they're available to pirate. You know, that's one of the things you could do. Um, use your time doing other things like don't if you're going to avoid the things altogether and you want to go to not times do something else that doesn't put you at risk like working on your skills or something like that um you can also have other skills like the camouflage hold skill on your ship that helps protect your cargo from the plunder but not everybody invests that kind of original skill ships on uh, skills on your ships in order to have that bonus yes it's nice but not everybody wants that they want the other things on their ships instead so it's not on everybody's ship and it may not be on yours um uh, and one of the other things, uh, you can place things in certain storages, like special storage in Calicut or and take it out in Lisbon, but you know, those are special kinds of storage and it's not going to be everything that you need. Um, so, uh, you know, this is just not one of the main options. Uh, also having alt accounts, this helps protect against how much you might lose because they can only take so much of one ship. So your, most of your cargo is going to be safe if you have all of it on the other two alts when you go. So it's totally another way to, to reduce the damage I do, but this isn't avoiding battles. Now, if you want to truly avoid battles and you don't want to change your route, you don't want to change when you do your sailing, and you really want to get down to the nitty gritty of how you can avoid battles, you can do two things. One, you can pay money, real in life money for something, or you can use a um, uh, another kind of tribute, uh, which in this case the tribute is uh, uh, got a different name. So uh, one of the goods that you can have is called fine tribute goods. They come in different types: small ships, mid-sized ships, and large ships. For depending on what your ship you have you need that one for you to avoid battles. It's probably a good idea to have a mixture of all of them. So that way, depending on what ship you're sailing that day, that you can help um, devise a, a response. So I'm just going to read you this information straight from the fandom website here. It says, an option is carrying fine tribute goods, large ships, fine tribute goods, goods mid-sized ships, fine tribute goods, small ships. You get the one according to the size your ship is, heavy, standard, or light right so large mid small it's a little bit of a task to make these items but when a pirate attacks you you can use these just before they attack you or right as they're attacking you and they get spoils in, in exchange for your freedom and they get half of your money with it so don't carry too much money with you if you need to carry just a handful to keep yourself afloat at sea then they're going to take half your money but 
that's the worst that's going to happen. And hopefully your whatever your cargo is is worth way more than half the amount of money you have on you. Don't do this when you've got millions and millions on you. Do this when you have like 100 to 500,000 on you. And this will be less of a pain for you if you're using tribute goods. Um, so they're very similar. They look very similar to those other tribute goods I was talking about for brigands. This one's going to be for PvP. So they function exactly the same way, but they do a little bit different. They actually take money out of your account uh, and give it to the pirates. They get spoils and then they can use these spoils when they go to their pirate nations to get pirate bonuses and pirate, pirate items. Um, so it's sometimes a good option uh, to have that in your uh, uh, in, in your repertoire. Now, those are expensive. Uh, you know, so there are ways to make it. There are expensive ways to make it and I'm actually working on doing it with my other character so we are going to uh probably show you how to do that once my character unlocks the ability to do it it takes a high level storage like level eight storage so um, i'm nowhere near that i'm like a level four so i'm going to need storage boosting items in order to make what i want um, so that's that's one of the difficulties with it and then lastly the other way to completely stop this problem is to use secret no war packs which can be given in events and things of that nature but you likely won't have many of them and instead it'll cost you real money it's going to cost you some amount of the cash in game to buy these now i don't know exactly how you buy them now um you should probably look in your when you're ported at the um uh in some sort of town you should look at the cash shop and see what sort of options there are to get some but it's usually going to cost you somewhere between two to five dollars for for i think one of them and it gives you 24 hours of protection yeah not everybody wants that option but it should protect you from all npc battles or non sorry all pc uh sorry it'll protect you from all npcs and players for 24 hours so you won't have to worry about any battles which is great um but obviously there's a risk for that. And like I said before, this one works in any kind of water, hostiles or lawless. Whereas before, when I was reading about the fine tribute goods, they only work in hostile waters. If it's lawless, forget it. It doesn't work. So I really hope this information was helpful and I'm hoping it's as accurate as I think it is because I'm reading off of a older website and I don't have too much information on it. But hopefully it's helpful. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.